guest is a woman who has practiced and educated people in holistic health for more than 30 years in Metro Detroit and all over the world. She is well known for selling the ionized alkaline water at the water station. She is the author of several books on health and wellness, and her philosophy is you have the capacity to change and become pure, bright, and positive. She is Dr. Kifa Lorraine Weatherspoon, known to many listeners of WCHB Radio and viewers of WHPR TV 33 as Dr. Kifa. Dr. Tanisha Ford is an ordained minister, inspirational, highly motivational speaker, and acclaimed author of I Miss the Hugs, Not the Hurt, and This is a Comma in Your Life, Not a Period. To book Dr. Tanisha Ford to speak and motivate your staff, organization, or church, or to order her life-changing books today, I Miss the Hugs, Not the Hurt, and This is a Comma in Your Life, Not a Period, just visit drtford.com. That's drtford.com. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Dr. Tanisha I. Ford Show. I am so honored to have on the show today, Dr. Kifa Lorraine Weatherspoon. Welcome to the show. I'm Bless so happy you. to see you. So happy to see you. Bless you. I call yes. you the water lady. The water lady. You're the water lady. Do they call you the water lady too because of your, your special water? I call you the water lady because I've heard about your water and I'm just so excited about that. But not now, we'll get to that later. Okay. You have a testimony. You are a cancer survivor, 30-year cancer survivor. Can you tell us about that? Do you mind sharing that? Actually, it's a little more than 30 years. It's, okay. It's more like 35 now. 35. It's 1977. Okay, tell us about that, yeah. if you don't mind sharing and I really that. don't call myself a cancer survivor because what I recognize is that what you give energy to, you give power to. And I'm not interested in giving cancer any more power. <laughs> I understand. So I just yes. say that I'm well. Hey, yeah. I understand. Yeah. What kind of cancer did you have? I had cervical cancer. And by the grace of God, I still have my uterus. That is wonderful. That's yes, wonderful. So, yeah. You know, we have something in common. I'm also a cancer survivor. Okay, you know what? I'm going to change that too. I'm not a survivor. <laughs> I'm well. I'm well. healed. And I'm thriving. How about yeah, that? I like that. I did that. And I had Hodgkin's disease. Okay. I had. It was in my body. It was manifested. But I no longer have it. It's no longer coming back. I'm healed. How about right, that? Good. We're on the same page. Yeah. Now, what I want to ask you, when you came through this ordeal, that's when you're in our past, what inspired you to be Dr. Kifa? Okay. My testimony is there I was, safe, sanctified, full of cancer. I couldn't understand how I was in church six, seven days a week doing all of what I thought were the right things. How mm -hmm. did this happen to me? Right. So my prayer was, God, if you show me how to heal my life of cancer, I'll spend whatever time I have left healing others and teaching them to heal themselves. God walked me through the Bible and helped me understand the body. And I went on and became a naturopathic doctor. So my field of study is all the natural things that God created to heal the body naturally. That is so wonderful. You know, when I was going through my ordeal, um, I can't remember the book right now. I think it's like the Garden of Life book. It was a real thick book. And I began to change my diet also. I did a lot of juicing. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I have a book out entitled right now, This is a Comma in Your Life not a period. Right. And in that book, the, the regimen that God gave me was, a, uh, I call it a, a juicing. Mm -hmm. It was a juice that had the apple juice, I'm sorry, raw apples, the green apples, the carrots, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, kelp, and I think one other ingredient, I think it was, um, uh, I can't think of it right now, but beets, raw beets, beets mm -hmm. okay? And, we, and I did that, and I used that, and I just changed, took out the meats out of my diet and all of that. Mm -hmm. And as a result, and also prayer, much prayer. Yes. But I did go through the chemo and I did go through the radiation because mm -hmm. at that time I learned that the objective was to live. Okay. My first time ever being ill like that, I didn't know what to do, but I wanted to do, do something different than just taking all the chemo and radiation. Mm -hmm. So I do understand what you mean by that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get a chance to go into the, do something medically like you did, or should I say holistic like that in continuance, but I changed my life and others by teaching them about positive thinking, okay, and, and, and things like that. So I think we're on the same page with that. So you have a philosophy about life right now. So can you share that with us? Okay, that two things I want to share. Okay. First one is that the body holds the capacity to heal itself naturally. That's how God designed it. Okay. He also designed the garden. And that everything that man needs to survive and be well on this planet has been put in the garden. So that's, you know, part of my quest to be well. I also want to know who are the healthiest people on the planet. In 1977, the World Health Organization announced that the healthiest people on the planet are Japanese. 2012, the healthiest people on the planet are still Japanese. So I traveled to the east, to Japan, 
and adopted the macrobiotic lifestyle. I also recognized that there were some things that in our environment that may be different from Japan, but so I sought to eat according to what's growing in the environment in a seasonal kind of way. But my philosophy is that we can heal ourselves naturally. Okay, the and macrobiotic lifestyle. Mac macrobiotic diet. Macro or micro? M macro. Macro, okay. M-A-C-R-O. Okay. Macrobiotic. Okay, explain mm -hmm. that a little further if you don't mind. Well, we, there's a macrocosm and there's a microcosm. Okay. We are a reflection of the microcosm or the larger scheme of life, but there's a natural order. Like right now, we're in what we call late summer, going into autumn. There are foods that are growing on the planet. The foods that are growing right now actually work for the system that you had cancer in. Okay. The spleen and lymphatic system. That's right. The spleen That's is correct. the largest lymphatic That's organ. That's correct. So this is the season of the spleen, the pancreas, and the stomach. And so the earth is producing foods right now that help to clean and rebuild that system, like okra and broccoli and cabbage and cauliflower, eggplant. So I'm going to ask you, you probably have a very big garden in your backyard, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing but natural stuff going <laughs> there, right? My dad has a big garden, and he loves gardening. I love my dad. He's, he's my, my biggest fan and my biggest hero, you know. I always believed in what I could do and always encouraged me and he has a big garden. Uh, I have a small garden, okay. he has a bigger garden. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I do eat out of, his gar out of his garden, but I, I can relate to the juice. I um, met Dick Gregor years ago, and he had done a 365 day fast, where all throughout the New Testament, Jesus is talking about fast and praying. So I said, okay, this is my master teacher, let me do what he did. So I went on a 40 day fast with the juices, and uh, when I got re-diagnosed, I got a clean slate. Okay. But, I, but prior to the 40-day fast, that was like maybe four years into the cancer diagnosis, I had started changing my diet and lifestyle. I got introduced to Wayne Dwyer, okay. his first book, Your Erroneous Zones, yes. and that's when yes. I started to realize that my thinking is as important as anything I'm eating. And so I had to endeavor to cultivate a more positive attitude about myself and about life. Okay. Yeah. So you incorporate all of that into all your that. teaching. All okay. That. We're going to be back in a few minutes with a commercial break. We'll be right back and we're going to ask her some more questions about this wonderful quest that she's on right now. Thank you. You probably think you have to know somebody to hire a great law firm. Well, you do know somebody. You know me, Jeffrey Feiger. You know what I stand for. You know that I fight for my clients' rights. And you know that Feiger Law has 18 of the best trial lawyers in America. Insurance companies, corporations, and government are counting on you to hire a lawyer who will take any settlement they offer. But who will stand up for you when your life is on the line? We will. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Call 1-877-656-2548 today. Get the top networks and popular channels like AMC and Discovery in digital quality. Plus, never miss a thing with HD DVR service. Record your favorite shows and watch them on your schedule in stunning HD. Call 1-877-656-2548 and get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months. Don't forget to ask how you can get Xfinity On Demand with the best in entertainment anytime on any device. Plus premium channels like HBO and Showtime. Get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-877-656-2548 and make the switch now. Xfinity, the future of awesome. If you overcame great challenges in life or experienced a spiritual journey, email Dr. T Show at www.producer at drtford.com. To advertise, donate, or support this program, contact us at producer at drtford.com or mail checks and money orders payable to the Dr. Tanisha I. Ford Show, P.O. Box 2266, Southgate, Michigan, 48195. More information is available at drt4.com. 
If you're just joining us, we have a wonderful guest today, Dr. Kifa Lorraine Weatherspoon. I want to ask you a question about some of your practices. Tell me, what is NLP? Neuro Linguistic Programming. Explain that, please. Okay. <laughs> Neuro is nervous system. Linguistic is language. Okay. Programming is what it is. But there's a language to our nervous system. We take in information through all of our sense modalities. We take in information through what we see visually, through what we hear and say auditorily, through what we touch and feel kinesthetically, smell olfactorily, and taste gustatorily. And all of those senses has gathered information from our very conception. So from the time we've been conceived, we have recorded all of our experiences and all of those sense modalities. Wow, that is so profound. I I'm serious, you just, yeah. you just blow me away right now. Really, because, and all this is biblically based. You have studied the Bible. That, you, that, and, that one I study NLP with Tony Robbins. Okay, but I mean, yeah. but, but like you said earlier was that this is all inspired yes, because you asked because God, you said, if, he, if he let yeah. you get through this, that you would study and find out all that it took so you can teach others. Right. Okay, so this is one of the elements, one of the practices that you have. Right, he said, and Paul said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay. And in the beginning was the word. So it kind of made sense to me that I needed to start learning how to manage my mind because I found out even worse than my diet, was my own negative thinking. And not only that, would you speak out of your mouth? So a man, so a man thinking from his heart, That's and so it. is he. And so I believe, I speak, therefore I believe, and right? Therefore I am. And, and therefore I am, yeah. okay? So when you speak it, you yeah. believe it. And you so become the, it. I understand, so all this is joined together. Yeah. And all this is part of the healing process with you. Yes. I think that is so profound. Well, you know, with the NLP, it was interesting because I ended up in the school systems, the public and private and charter segments, teaching the learning modalities because we store information and predominantly we are, tend to use one more than the other. Okay. So some children learn blah, blah. Some children learn from what they see. Mm -hmm. Other children learn from what they hear and others learn from what they write or experience. And so if a teacher teaches in one modality, if a child is not strong in that modality, they don't do well in her class. So if I could teach, teach the teachers ways of teaching in all of the modalities, then every child will be able to learn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this also transcends to the educational factor too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's really wonderful. Mm -hmm. So in your, how long did it take you to do all the studying? I mean, you know, it must uh, be a lot of schooling for you. Still. You, you're still learning. It's still. Always because, learning. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's perpetual, wonderful. Perpetual. It's a, it's a lifestyle. Okay. We're ever evolving. And so even if you're reading this, studying the same thing, you get a deeper and a different understanding of it because you're different. You know, you, you see things like you read the Bible. Every time you read the same passage, today it may mean something different based on your circumstances yes. than tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, but we're opening up a school for natural uh, health and education. And a lot of the things that we're talking about today, we want to incorporate in our curriculum so that people understand holistically spiritually, mentally, and physically, how to rebuild their life and be well. Okay, you know, I think that's really amazing. Now, you, you go into the public schools with this information too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, now, have, a lot of, it, we have a lot of young people we work with on okay. our team. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so they, they accept this teaching in, even in the public school? They allow you to come in and teach like this? Well, actually, I get an get a invitation a all okay. the time to be part of career day. Okay. And then I get invitations to do different kind of things with the young people. And we do it at age appropriate level. Okay. So if we're talking to, if I'm talking to a first grader, you know, we have baskets of food and we may say every organ in the body needs a different color food. Okay, the heart likes green, name some green foods and they'll pick out the green foods or they'll name their favorite. You know, we may say, well, this organ needs red foods. What are some of the red foods you should eat? You know, what are some of the orange foods you should eat for your kidneys? Okay. Like that, you okay. know, so it's age appropriate. Okay, now, when, yeah. during my diet, when I, when I was going through this cancer ordeal, I cut out a lot of the meats. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel about the, I mean, is, is that still, is that healthy for you? Well, or would you just say no, stay away from that, or what? I, I, I ended up as a vegetarian. Okay. And I ended up That's vegan for years. And then my body started craving fish, and I kept saying, no, I'm going to eat more sea vegetables. But then finally, I started listening to my body, and I asked a person, what should I eat if I haven't had fish in 17 years? He told me, eat vegetarian fish, fish that eat vegetables. Okay. They're high in omega-3 oils, like salmon and tilapia and albacore tuna, and there's a whole list of them, you know. Okay. So I've added some fish back occasionally, yeah. Okay. okay, now besides the NLP, what are the other practices that you are endeavoring in right now? Yeah, well, that, that one's a big one, but... Okay. Um, 
I went on, became a Reiki master, and then I found out in Japan about Sukyo Maikari, which is a practice of spiritual, of spiritual purification, and so we can remain pure, bright, and positive. That's my my key words right now. Okay. That we have to endeavor to be Say pure, again, pure, bright, okay, and, and positive. positive. Okay. Yeah, pure, bright, and positive. And of course, when we radiate this energy, and our immune system is automatically enhanced when we remain pure, bright, and positive. And of course, it's linked to diet. So then I've studied a number of uh, aspects, but I ended up in the water business as part of my studies. That's what we're going to get to in a few minutes. That's what I'm talking about right yeah. there. Yeah. That's why so, I call you the water lady. The water is big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I want to go back to Japan. Now, how long did you stay? Did you go? Did you I, live I, there for a while, or no, you just studied? I just I just studied the the philosophies and okay. even then Japan was light years ahead of us in okay. a lot of areas, and so my my studies continue. I go to Japan twice a year. This year I'll be blessed to go three times, okay. and uh, usually it's my spiritual pilgrimage. But while I'm there, I also study the culture and different foods and different things that will just enhance life all the way around. Okay, give me one of those examples of something that the Japanese do that we just totally well, don't Well, first do. of all, first of all, we always ask the question, how much food is appropriate? How much should we eat? And I have people, number one, put their hands together and cup it, mm -hmm. and then put your fists in there, and that's how big our stomach is. Uh, so this is yeah, how much stomach. food we should eat per meal. I think my stomach is... It's maybe, that maybe. it may stretch, but <laughs> this... <laughs> so it's better, like, it's better to eat several small meals rather than one large. So you'll notice in Japan when they serve you, according to their custom, that you have all these small dishes of food, you know. And if they serve meat, it's usually to season the food, okay. but it's probably not bigger than even the, fit in the palm of my hand. Not a bigger hand, but they don't. Not a sumo wrestler. <laughs> the sumo wrestler, he's got, he's the whole big fish. Okay, because he purposely has to do that, right? Because he has to be a wrestler, well, so he has to he, be able to. He has a lot of weight to maintain. <laughs> okay, okay. when you come yeah. back, I want to ask you about that water. The water station. Be back in a few minutes. All right, good. Stay tuned, don't go away. Do you have the right Medicare health plan? Are you saving money? And are you with the company you can rely on? The answer to your questions could be a Medicare supplement insurance plan from Humana with the benefits and savings you want. You can get all the facts in this free booklet, Making Medicare Supplement Insurance Work For You. And it's yours just by calling 1-888-238-5497. For a competitive monthly premium, you get peace of mind knowing many of your medical costs will be covered. All from a company that's been helping people with Medicare for more than 20 years. And with a Medicare supplement plan like that offered by Humana, you always have the freedom to go to any doctor, specialist, or hospital. The booklet is free, and there's no obligation. So call now, 1-888-238-5497. That's 1-888-238-5497. Not everyone can dunk, but everyone can dip. Checkers new $2 chicken dippers box. White meat chicken deliciously seasoned, just begging to be dipped. Six delicious dippers, plus Checkers famous seasoned fries for an unbeatable two bucks. It's a slam dip. Checkers, feast on. Love loaded fries? Get them loaded three different ways, only at Checkers. Every LASIK candidate deserves the best, and the Yaldo Eye Center, Michigan's leader, has performed more LASIK procedures than anyone in Michigan and always uses state-of-the-art lasers. Dr. Yaldo knows that affordability is a serious issue, and this week is offering LASIK for $6.99 an eye, regardless of your prescription. You demand the best. That's why his patients say it's not just LASIK. It's LASIK with Dr. Yaldo. The Yaldo Eye Center. Call 1-888-881-2020. Welcome back to the Dr. Tanisha Shai Ford Show. Dr. Kifa, <laughs> now you know I told you I'd call you the water lady. The water lady. Okay, now tell us all what is ionized alkaline water. Now it's a lot on the market. Now I've gone to several health food stores mm -hmm. and they're pushing this alkaline water, but I've heard through the grapevine that your water is something special. Okay, oh. so tell us about that. Okay, <laughs> so. So one of the things I discovered in this quest to heal my own life of cancer is that the body is 80% water. Yeah. Some people say 75. Okay. I like the, the ratio of the planet, 80%, because we're eating up the planet. We made the same composition. The brain is 85 to 98% water, or wants to be that ratio. And 
then God created the water so that it should be absorbed in, in the body and replenish the body and nutri you know, bring nutrition into the cells. And so I found out that ionized water. It took me a while to really try it. I heard about it for two years and I'm like, ah, water's water. That's just something that some other gimmick they came up with. Everybody but finally drink. somebody yeah. bought me some water and I started drinking. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a difference in water. So the ionization process breaks the water into a structure, a molecular structure, where it can be absorbed by the body. Most water is structured so big that it never penetrates the membranes of the cell. So it never crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's never absorbed into the body properly. So it never hydrates the body properly. It doesn't bring the nutrition into the cell, the waste matter out of the cell. You know, but when you start drinking the alkaline water, it has the minerals in it. It, it's really city water. It goes through this particular processing in this machine that came out of Asia. Mm. And through the processing of ionization, the water is restructured. The, the machine gives you the capacity to have more alkaline minerals and less acidic minerals, or have more acidic minerals for your skin and your hair and whatever, and less alkaline minerals. But we find that when most people, they don't have enough minerals. Like if a person goes to the emergency room, mm -hmm. even before the doctor can diagnose what's really wrong, he'll order a saline IV of water. Saline is sodium, which happens to be an alkaline mineral. Two things he's trying to do, alkalize and stabilize the person and hydrate them to stabilize them. Every liter, every, every bag of the um, saline water has a liter of water. And after about two bags saline IVs, he's gonna tell you 80% of the time you're dehydrated. Wow. So since I realized that 80% of our problem is that we're dehydrated, it makes sense to start at the base of health, of wellness and well-being with that's good we're water. That's we're and going. that's how. And the reason why it's blowing up so much is because it does make a difference. It okay, works. so what are some of the benefits of the ionized alkaline water? Just give me, just give me a few. You I know. should have brought you a brochure. Yeah, you should have brought but me I, a brochure. But I have a brochure in the car. I'll give it to you. Okay, that's okay. fine. Go ahead. So just, some, of the, viewers, some of the, some of the, some of the. Well, some of the benefits is that we superhydrate, which means that if we get enough um, good um, antioxidants in the body, we can boost immune, immune function. So sometimes a person reads the brochure and they ask me, does the water treat these conditions? Because that's how we become accustomed to think about health, that we should treat symptoms or disease. But the, the reality is that these symptoms are the result of being dehydrated and deficient in minerals. Dr. Mona Harrison helped us understand if you have a mineral deficiency, an organ in your body will develop a cyst. If you don't correct the mineral deficiency, the cyst may become a tumor. Okay. If you don't correct the mineral deficiency, the tumor may become cancer. Well, at some point we need to duh, think about the minerals. So with the alkaline water, you're getting the minerals God intended for the body to have. You're hydrating the body to get it back into a water balance. The weight, the excess weight will start to diminish. People have great testimonies about addictive behaviors, whether it's cigarette, alcohol, you know, drugs or whatever, that they de the, the craving for those substances are diminished when the body becomes alkaline cancer because not live, live in an alkaline bloodstream. But you can't we say actually, that though, right? We can't say that the, that the alkaline cancer, water actually... Uh, cancer cells cannot live in alkaline okay. bloodstream. Okay. Carmanos Institute, some of the people there have been referring people to drink alkaline water after their chemo and their radiation to help maybe prolong the, the, the return or prohibit the return of the cancer cells so rapidly okay. that they also understand, and it's scientifically proven, okay. cancer cannot live in an alkaline bloodstream. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I want to take it in another direction. If you could just sit here and tell the, the TV audience what is your greatest accomplishment, what would you say is Dr. Kiefer's greatest accomplishment? You know, what would you tell people? Um, probably my son, my grandson. I don't know. I <laughs> you know, okay. Let me let me kind of clarify I, that question. I, you, you know, you, you, you do so know much for what people. I do. Yeah. yeah, you do so much for people right now. So, in all the things that you do, okay. you know, what do you enjoy the most? You know, in terms of teaching. You know, I know you, put, you everything is joined together. Everything is kind of cohesive. I know. Mm -hmm. So you can't really separate it. But. Who is Dr. Kiefer? You know, what was I, if I say, well, who is Dr. Kiefer? What do you put? What where's, is really? Where's my what you passion? Yeah, where's, where's my passion? passion? That's a good. Where's your passion? My passion is sharing my gift, and for me, my gift is be able to have people comprehensively understand the power they have to change their life. The Holist power they have to change their life holistically. Holistically, spirit, mind, and body. Spirit, and and then be able to put the dots so close together that people really connect it they really understand 
that what I'm doing is creating what I'm experiencing. So if I change what I'm doing, I should be able to change what I'm experiencing, and that's who we really are. And I really do like the fact that your philosophy is is biblically sound, you know what I'm saying, and you put God first. Mm -hmm. And that's that's very important to me, Dr. Kiefer. You know, like I said, you know, you have done a lot of extensive study, you know, but with me, everything I try to do is about elevating and helping people go to the next level by renewing their minds. And you have done that through everything that you're doing right now. I mean, so it, everything is international, you know, dealing with people on the holistic level, and I just commend you for that. I applaud you for that. God and I just, I'm just so grateful that you graced me with the honor of being a guest on my show. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much again. Thank you. God bless Love you. you. Love you. <laughs> okay, Love thank you more. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial break. If you overcame great challenges in life or experienced a spiritual journey, email Dr. T Show at www.producer at drtford.com. To advertise, donate, or support this program, contact us at producer at drtford.com or mail checks and money orders payable to the Dr. Tanisha I. Ford Show, P.O. Box 2266, Southgate, Michigan, 48195. More information is available at drtford.com. We play a tough game, but it's nothing like having to face tough facts like these. One in six men are going to get prostate cancer. A common side effect of prostate surgery is loss of bladder control. Now the question is, what are we going to do about it? That's why we tried on the new Depend Real Fit briefs for a great cause. Just by trying them on, Depend donated $75,000 on our behalf to the V Foundation for Cancer Research. We teamed up with Depend and the V Foundation to change lives. And together, we got tough on prostate cancer. A 30-year cancer survivor, Dr. Kiefer developed a great passion and enthusiasm to serve, support, and educate mankind with her holistic practices. She is a visionary whose heart and soul is dedicated to regenerating, rebuilding, and renewing the spirit, mind, and body. This dedication transcends all across the globe to help others experience their best life now and reap the rewards that God has intended for us during this lifetime. His ultimate desire for us is to experience the abundant life, which is prosperity, good health, longevity, and a sound mind. John, the beloved apostle, stated it best, Beloved, I wish above all things that you should prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Remember to be an inspiration to others as you discover your own uniqueness. God bless. Mm -hmm.